But Bree, did you like the movie Turning Red? What parts did you like? Um, let me see. I like the part when she was when she was shaking her butt at her mom. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Hope Views. And today, we're going to be talking about Turning Red. We're going to have a special guest come and talk to us about the movie and how she feels about it. But first, let's go ahead and give the advisory. Subscribe to the channel because most of the views come from those people who aren't subscribed. Uh, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Help us to get those numbers up. Come on back and check out more videos about movies, TV shows, trailers, Fionn's Friday, and much, much more. Let's go ahead and get into my review of Turning Red. I have to be honest here, uh, I'm speaking from the perspective of a parent. And personally, I don't like it. I really didn't care for it at all. But I also know that I am not the target audience, which is why I'm glad I have my daughters present to watch this movie with me as a family. And we could like, I could come up with a better score based on their reactions a little bit more than my own. My biggest problem with the movie is the messaging of it, the story of it. Uh, the movie opens up with the idea of honoring your parents, but none of that really happens throughout the movie. And by the time you get to the end, there is no consequence for not honoring your parents. It's basically, is the same issue that many people had with Luca. You don't honor your parents, you don't listen, you would be rebellious, and in the end, it seems as if you're rewarded for it. It's definitely not the message that I wanna to send to my daughters, but at the same time, I feel very comfortable with them watching it because we watched it together as a family. And I must say, all my girls saw was a little girl who could change from being a girl into a panda. And she had some silly friends that liked to dance and sing songs. That is what I think my seven-year-old took from watching this movie. And I'll let them tell you for themselves. So y'all got to watch the movie Turning Red. Yeah. Yes. What did you like about that movie? We're gonna start with Tamise. Like she like she like jumped off a building and like flew. And like she like hit like the wall and also that part like where they were cleaning up and there were some boys drawing on the walls and then like the her May May's mom said, I'm telling your butters. <laughs> Like when she turned into a giant panda, like she is, like, but she got very angry for some reason. Like when Mei Mei said she's keeping the panda. Oh, so you're talking about at the end, right? Mm hmm. That's what you were talking about, Bree? Yeah. Like I, I like the part when, when, when her, where, where Mei Mei was shaking her butt at her mom. Oh, I also liked the part like where, like, her tail, her mom's tail, like, hit Mei Mei, just like, ah! <laughs> When me and you were watching the movie, what were the bad things that Mei Mei was doing? Uh, she lied about um, she lied about something, but I don't remember. I don't have good memory. So, would you say there was anything in the movie that you didn't understand? Like what? The part like when like like they like like cracked their like head like I I don't know why people like crack their knuckles for some reason. Yeah. But, but that's it? That's the only part you didn't understand? So the part where they cracked their knuckles is the only part that didn't make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. You like the movie Encanto, right? Mm -hmm. What do you like more, Turning Red or Encanto? Mm -hmm. Encanto. Okay. <laughs> Bye! Oh, and subscribe to Daddy's shows like... They're amazing. You should also watch the one where we do Luca. Outlining my categories, I want to start with story. Uh, again, it's a coming of age story. You understand that. Uh, but the big problem is still very simple. The girl rebels against her parents for whatever reason. I will say that the mom did way too much as a mom and didn't really pay attention to her daughter, which you know, seems to be the case with a lot of these films. But the daughter rebels and she does what's wrong, her grades slip, a whole bunch of things happen. And at the end of the movie, we all still get to be happy, which is not normally the case in real life and not a message that you want to send to the kids. But again, I think all that will go right over the head of, you know, a seven to 10 year old girl. They won't catch 
those things. Visuals I give an 8 for. Now one thing that I was really impressed with when I watched this movie is the fact that they very very subtly do a period piece here. Now maybe it's an exaggeration to call it a period piece but a movie that takes place over the last 20 years uh, as opposed to present day you have to really pay attention to to catch it and as I watched I noticed that hey you know this is boy bands uh, there's is very late 90s vibes of these boy bands as well as there's no current technology you know very suddenly they show you that hey this is you know landlines and flip phones and you know by the end of the movie they show you and confirm that it's like taking place in 2002 but I thought it was cool that stylistically if you are an adult watching you can pick up like hey there's little things here that let you know about the time period where this is taking place so I was impressed with that uh, on the other hand, I didn't really care for the animation style they chose to go with here. Uh, it, it's very close to claymation to me, and I, it was reminiscent of some things I might have seen on MTV back in the day. Just re weird looking animation style. I didn't care for it. So, And again, I know I'm not the target audience, so I'm not going to make a huge, huge deal out of that. The pace, I feel like it was paced very well for kids. Uh, you know, they my girls watched it a few times already, and... They never got antsy. Uh, they watched it from the start to the, to the finish and they only seemed to get a little bit bored when they got to the real emotional core of the movie at the end. You know, the reconciliation between mother and daughter and, and resolving those conflicts. But they seemed to be very into it and there are several parts that catch their attention. Entertainment value, I give it a nine. Again, that is not entertainment for me because I was not at all uh, too much entertained with the movie. But I will say that my girls were very entertained, uh, as you know, as you may have already seen. But most importantly, they watched it like three times already, almost three times already. They were very much into watching it each one of those times, which lends itself to rewatchability and me giving it an eight out of 10 on the rewatchability scale is not many things that uh, kids come back to that don't involve singing. So the fact that this is not a musical and there are no sing-along moments, but they still come back to it, that means that it's very watchable for the young kids. So those are my thoughts on, on Turning Red. Uh, I Normally, I really enjoy family films. Uh, this is one of the few that I didn't necessarily too much enjoy. I thought Luca was technically pretty good, but I didn't involve my thoughts on, on the parenting side when I watched that one. Uh, looking back on it, it's one of the ones that I was like, eh, it's actually not as good as you might think uh, for families. Vivo from last year was still very good. It holds up very well. And just to kind of talk about anybody who follows the channel, I was so light on Encanto. Like, I gave Encanto like, you know, oh, it's a good little animated movie. The thing was huge, and it turned out to be huge, not only nationwide, but huge in my household. I want to say I've seen Encanto like 10 times uh, in the past few weeks. So this thing, you know, the family films are kind of up and down. I'm, I'm kind of lower on this one personally, but my daughter seems to love turning red. So, you know, it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed them popping in, giving some input about the movie, what they like, what they didn't like. And uh, that's pretty much all we have for this review of Turning Red. Uh, enjoy yourself, guard your heart, and go watch something good. Bye. 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 Bye.